Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Uh, this is going to be episode number five uh, of this series of the Dodge Ram VTS Dream Ride series. Uh, as you can see, we are almost to the finish line as far as putting everything together. Uh, right now, uh, we're going to look at uh, what we've accomplished so far, basically, uh, it's going to be step number six in the instruction booklet here. So, as you can see, uh, we are looking at the uh, chassis. And uh, let's kind of go over some of the stuff that I actually glued together here in step number six of the instructions here. Uh, first of all, uh, you can see that we went ahead and installed the exhaust along the line here as well as the drive shaft, the rear axle, and of course we have our rear shocks over here as well, along with uh, gluing on the tires themselves. Uh, the instructions tell you, you know, not to use glue on it, but I went ahead and uh, glued all four tires in place because I'm not going to be having this truck uh, basically moving around on me. Basically, just for display purposes, that would be putting on the shelf uh, as it is. Um, the one thing I notice uh, too, as far as putting in the uh, drive shaft along with the uh, rear axle part and trying to attach it to the uh, transmission part here, um, it kind of came up a little bit short. Uh, it's it's in there, but barely. So I'd make sure I had enough glue in there to kind of hold it in place. Because uh, if I try to push the uh, rear uh, axle forward, it's going to you know take these tires out of alignment and everything. So I just kind of let things set where they are. And uh, fortunately, we had enough uh, to insert into the rear of the transmission there. And like I said, glue it down and and uh, held it in place. So <clears throat> that's basically the underside of the uh, chassis with. Uh, uh, putting everything in there. We also, you know, attach the rear sway bar, which is this right here, this part right there as well. And there's very fine little uh, uh, counterpoints here where, you know, where we actually glue the uh, part on. So same thing with these sh shocks there. There's very small contact points on the uh, underside there, but we managed to uh, uh, get a hold of it with some glue and just kind of uh, put it together and let it sit overnight and it seems to be holding pretty good so and uh, I went ahead and of course colored the uh, rear shocks uh, with some yellow Craftsmart just to kind of give a little uh, color underneath the chassis itself instead of all this black and gray so it kind of make it pop a little bit um, so there you go that's the underside part there and uh, yeah so next up, uh, we start working on the hood with the uh, the grill. Now, again, this is in relationship to what my truck actually looks like. Um, in this instance there, the grill had some chrome around the outer perimeter, and it's, you know, black where the honeycomb kind of uh, grid pattern is on these four points right there. So that's more of a true representation of what the front of my truck looks like with the grill. And actually with this kind of chrome color, uh, I went ahead and used some of the uh, Molotow liquid chrome. Uh, most of my pens were uh, kind of dried out. So this is actually a refill uh, bottle. So I just kind of unscrew it, uh, squeezed a little bit on my uh, pallet and uh, actually brushed all this on with a small small brush and just kind of went real carefully so and around the uh, perimeter of it so um, kind of gives you that effect of a chrome finish on there so that is that and uh, of course then we were working on the um, front bumper itself so as you can see here um, it's kind of black on here and underneath uh, again representing my truck uh, for the front bumper part of it 
Uh, part of it was gray, and then this part here, as you can see here, again, was chrome. Uh, did the same thing. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, just brushed on the chrome to on the actual white plastic of the model to kind of bring out the chrome itself. So that's a close representation of that. So, so there it is. That I'm gonna give you a kind of quick look at that. So, uh, and again, uh, as far as the body of the truck, uh, it's pretty well ready to go. Uh, as far as attaching it to the uh, framework chassis of the uh, of the kit, so uh, it's uh, ready to go. So with that being said, we will be back in a little bit, and uh, we'll get that together, and we'll show you what that looks like. All right. See you soon. And we're back. And this is going to be uh, the finishing up uh, of this uh, particular model kit. It's the uh, Dodge Ram BTS pickup truck uh, Dream Ride series from Monogram. Uh, so I basically went to town on this and uh, actually uh, completed uh, the build itself. So let me just kind of uh, go over some things that uh, I did to get it to uh, this point. Um, as you can see, we've got the uh, front bumper in now and the uh, the lights and the hoods back in place. And uh, kind of do a little turn here. This is kind of resembling uh, some aspects of my truck itself uh, that I incorporated into this build. Uh, I'll kind of go over that real quick with you uh, in a moment. But uh, let's do a quick little 360 here. All right. So one of the things that I uh, did some modifications on that wasn't part of the kit was uh, this part right here. Let me see if I can just kind of bring this in a little bit more for you. And we'll kind of bring the lights down. All right. So what I did was here uh, add uh, these two. Uh, items one for the driver's side one for the passenger side um, I took uh, some of the chrome uh, sprue tree and uh, I cut some of the uh, perimeter parts of the chrome tree itself uh, to the length that I wanted to go from this point to this point here and in order to uh, round it off on the ends I actually took a um, big lighter here and uh, I kind of warmed up the ends uh, until it was pliable and then I just took some tweezers and I I just carefully uh, rounded it up before the uh, uh, You know before it cooled off and uh, So we did this side here as well as We'll come over here and did this right here now uh, in order for me to attach it to the uh, under part of the doors and under part of the uh, chassis itself uh I actually uh, cut some little strips here as you can see and then that gave me some contact points to actually uh, glue the pieces on themselves so that was like one modification I did on that okay um, while we're here as you can see I went ahead and used the original uh, decals for the Ram VTS uh, right here but uh, on the passenger side of my truck I actually have a chrome emblem uh, uh, Batman kind of bat signal so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get you some close-up shots of some pictures at the end of the video but um, I actually went um, on the computer and uh, you know found me a, a picture representing what I have on my truck there and I went to my word processor and I basically attached the uh, picture to the word processor and then I resized it to the uh, proper length that I wanted to uh, attach to the door and then I went ahead basically and used some Mod Podge since uh, I printed this on paper and I uh, just Mod Podged it right onto the uh, onto the door itself so that's the bat signal right there if we turn it over here to the driver's side uh, this is actually the Superman 
uh, chrome plate that I have on my truck on the driver's side. And uh, I found one on online there, and I just basically did the same thing that I did uh, for the uh, passenger side. So that is that. And uh, if we come back here, and uh, we'll kind of move it a little bit. All right, I did not use the uh, decal license plate that the VTS came with. I want to, of course, again, make it more personal because this is kind of representing a little bit of my truck. So uh, since I live in Florida, uh, I actually went to the Acme license plate maker uh, website and uh, I went ahead and made my own um, license plate. So that's a Florida tag right there, and I actually put my last name on there, so it's like KOV-ACH1. And uh, again, I just used some Mod Podge to actually uh, glue the license plate in place. Uh, did the same thing with the Dodge Ram. Again, putting all this on my word processor program, resizing everything, and then carefully cutting it out with some scissors, and uh, again with the Mod Podge to uh, do that. Once I did that, uh, basically went over it with some future floor polish to kind of seal it in a little bit. So that is done there. And uh, kind of bring this back around to the front here. I did use the one decal for the uh, RAM uh, insignia for the decal. So uh, that is in place and uh, I just put some uh, floor polish pledge and just kind of sealed that in uh, like so. Um, again, with the front part of my truck, I do have a uh, US Enterprise NCC-1701 Star Trek uh, license plate. So I found that online again uh, on a website and uh, basically did the same thing that I did with the Superman and the Batman logo and I resized it uh, to represent the license plate on the front of my truck. Uh, again, I will show you some pictures of some more close-up shots to compare my truck to, to my build here at the end of the video. So uh, that is about it. Um, I do have to say one kind of drawback it took me a while was to actually uh, putting the this front bumper on with the lights and to uh, match it with the hood there and kind of get it all working together in, in unison. It took me about uh, three or four tries to, uh, um, you know, what you see right, right there. So it was just uh, it took a little while longer, but because uh, there wasn't really any, as far as I'm concerned, there wasn't really any contact points for these lights, and I had to kind of do a little imagination on there and just uh, try to make it trying to make it work so um, this is this is the results that you see here so uh, like I said the front end took me a little bit longer than expected but uh, we got it together and uh, this is the end result so that is it for this uh, this build in this series and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope everybody has a good weekend and we will catch you on our next build. So this is Kovac Enterprises signing off and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next uh, next build. Take care. Bye.